What are these people? Uh, I don't know. Did Jack hire engineers already? These people are not in the engineering gene pool. That's right, fellas. These are our new salespeople. They're the best in the business. Uh, sales? Uh, hey. We're all gonna meet at one, Richard. You're gonna love these guys. They're the best. So, while the Hooli lawsuit did hamper our ability to get funding, it did not slow down the engineering. Yes, question. Yeah, Keith, Northeast Regional. So, you don't foresee any technical debt issues? Slowing our ability to scale? Actually, no, uh, none whatsoever. We've identified all our underlying issues, and we have a plan in place for rapid growth. Uh, yes? Uh, Don, Global Accounts and Systems Integration. What kind of growth are you projecting here? Ah, uh, well, uh, this may sound a little bit grandiose, but it's not unrealistic to think that we have the potential for worldwide penetration on the scale of, say, Google or Facebook. This is really great, Richard. Just keep it going. Sure. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, in regards to the launch, we are hoping to go wide, um, get it into the hands of as many people as possible. Jan, Director Inside Sales. They call me Jan the Man. Oh. When you say people, you mean companies, right? Yeah, we're business-facing. OK, just wanted to clarify. Actually, no, no sorry, uh, Jan, the man. Uh, well, by people, I do mean people, humans, um, consumers. Uh, Keith, Northeast Regional again. Jack told us we would be selling directly to businesses. He did. Doug, I'm shadowing Keith. Yes, he did. Definitely. I was there. Don again. Well, I'm sorry for the misunderstanding, because um, the plan has always been um, entirely based on the uh, freemium model, like Dropbox. You know, you, you give the platform away free to consumers, and then once you have a big enough user base, then you sell premium services to businesses. If we're giving it away now and waiting until later to sell it, what are we doing here now? I don't know. I don't know. We could maybe ask uh, Jack uh, when he gets back uh, from wherever. Uh, sorry, one sec. Just, just one moment. Uh, Jack. Sorry, Jack. Okay, let me get this straight. First, you talked me into going business facing, and now you want to eliminate the entire neural net from the platform. Jan, director inside sales. They call me Jan the man. Yes, I, we know. Jan the man. Listen, uh, we have to do neural net for deep learning. Look, once we get enough data flowing through the system, it will be able to recognize long-range patterns and actually learn. It will be able to optimize our algorithm on its own, increasing our already superior speed and efficiency. Right? Pretty cool. Huh? But it won't be able to do that if we delete it. Do you get that? But you just said it. It requires a central repository of data, right? Businesses want to protect their data. They're huge pussies when it comes to security. OK, well, we're not cutting machine learning. We're not. If we cut that, we might as well cut peer-to-peer -peer delivery and all the efficiencies of the cloud. Are those still in? No, those have to go also. What? Keith, by the way. I know your name. OK, I know everybody's name. Look, uh, we can't cut everything about this platform that makes it revolutionary just because that's a little harder for you guys to sell, all right? If we want to sell out, let's just sell all the way out. Let's just take the algorithm, jam it into a metal fucking box, stick it in the back of a data center somewhere so it can't connect to anything, and it just sits there and no one even knows it's there. Doug, still shadowing Keith, when you say metal box, you're talking about a rack-mounted server type appliance? No, no, no. I am using it as a rhetorical example of a bad idea. That's fucking stupid. Oh my god. I just need to find Jack, one second. It's a big world, but thanks to modern technology, it's smaller than ever. Today, business moves at the speed of light. You can access your company's data anywhere, anytime. But if you can get your data, who else can get it? Spies, thieves, criminals, and foreigners. What if there is a way to take all of your company's data and back it up in a protected enclosure completely isolated from the world at large? Oh no. The ultimate enterprise data storage solution. Think inside the box. Powered by Pied Piper. Now that's what I'm talking about. This is the game we're playing, team, so let's win it! You guys, check it out. Chef Amy hollered out a watermelon and filled it with watermelon jello. Look, that's actual rind. The fuck is that? 
Is it a VCR? Why does it say Pied Piper on it? Why is everybody so happy? Uh...